like I said, let me repeat again. Now, in some scenario, you discover that this contactor may go bad. Whenever this contactor go bad, and uh, um, ideally, we want to put up this design, you must use the same contactor. If you want to use Schneider, you must use two Schneider to do it. If you want to use ABB, you must use two ABB to do the job. You will not use two different brand, you must use the same brand. The reason is because another brand cannot fit in this interlock. You cannot use Siemens and ABB and the same interlock can fit. It cannot fit in. You must use the same brand so that the interlock can fit in. But now, on the process of making a replacement, on the process of now, I don't have ABB, but the design, I use ABB. But during the replacement, I can't find, I can't have access to ABB, but I have Schneider. I have it. I don't need to purchase it, but I have it, the same capacity. So I can make a replacement. Okay, in terms of emergency, I can swap it and take the 41 out, replace with another brown. Then that time, this interlock can no longer fit in. I can override putting the interlock and take it away and make my replacement because I still have interlock on the control side. I will put the interlock after this time. I'm just going to, I'm just trying to explain to you the reason why you should have two interlock. Okay, so that one will serve as backup, one will serve as a, a prime user. Okay, now the reason why we must put mechanical and also put electrical, I just explain the reason why. Now, the second reason is this if this one fail, this one cannot fail, and this one fail, this one cannot fail, vice versa. Now, what we are going to do is this I'm going to simulate it now so that you see how the power will jump together. This is a different power source with a different potential. This is another power source with another potential. Both of them cannot jam because they are linked here. If this one close and this one close, this place will get damaged because two different potential will meet together. So there will be power jam and it will explode. Okay, now I want to simulate it so that you see the explosion will happen, it will take place. Now, despite that I have this interlock, remember that this interlock is a mechanical interlock. So in that case, software does not recognize this that is, is functional. But you will just put it as a symbol. But in reality, you will put the actual interlock. But this software will not recognize it because it does not have a coil or it does not have any input device on it. It's just ordinary uh, symbol. Ordinary, um, just uh, a symbol. So it cannot be energized, it does not utilize electricity. So because of that, if I put it here and also turn this to on, the power will jam because software don't recognize this. Okay, so let me put it so that you understand what I mean. Now let us simulate. I put on this power, this one has closed, I have low. Now let me put on this, why this one is active. You see, you see that both of them jump. This one and this one, all of them jump together here. It close because this one software does not recognize this. Software does not recognize this. So what we are going to do now is to introduce our electrical interlock. Okay, but take note. Supposing we are doing this connection and testing it on the source of power, the real life. This thing that happened now will explode because line one here and line two here, both of them look together. Okay, and it's only on synchronizing a method. You want to synchronize two different power. You want to use synchronizing machine, a uh, synchronizing uh, instrument to do that. That is the only way two power can jam together and it can be working to increase the power output. But ordinarily, because you don't have the control measure and the regulatory devices that will be responsible for regulating the speed of this source and the speed of this source and voltage of this and voltage of this and their frequency, okay, we have a device that will regulate them and make them to be on the same tolerant level. So with that, now two power can jump together 
and give you a, a very nice output without any issue. But because we don't have that the gadget to do that, if both of them are close together, the output you're going to experience a very big explosion. All right, all right. Now let's use um, another video to put on other. Uh, put on an interlock here, electrical interlock, all right?